Utah's home for Dre Rocka and number one for your favorite hip hop. Back in the day and today, this is 92.5 The Beat. 92.5 The Beat, Dre Rocka. The show's unrestricted. I got a very special guest in the studio right now. My man Vito. Yo, yo. What's poppin', man? Hey, man. You got a big show tonight. Play yeah. Hard Events presents you Absolutely. at the Complex. Yes, sir. Pull Doors up. open at 7 o'clock. Uh, the Complex SLC.com is where you can get tickets. There's still some available. Um, Vito, man, how are you doing? I'm doing good, man. I'm blessed. Um, it's been a great start of the year. Um, ended the year with a bang, too, so feeling good. What's good about today? I'm alive. Mm. I'm here. Um, breathing. Family's good. You know, got the breath in my body. Um, we just celebrated the new year, the Absolutely. holidays. Um, do you have any resolutions? Are you a resolutions kind of guy? Not really, man. I think, um, I think my whole thing is how you start the year is how your year is going, how your year is going to play out. So for me, it was just going hard in the gym, going crazy in the studio, writing, just staying productive. So I started with that mindset and I feel like for the rest of the years, that's the, that's what, that's the only thing that's going to be happening is being productive. That jet gym hits hard. Oh, absolutely. And it hits home for me. Yeah. Because I'm on a weight loss journey. I've lost close to 70 pounds. Absolutely. Man, congratulations. And, uh, and this week, like, we're what? Day seven in the yeah. new year? I've lost two pounds. That's what's up. This week. So That's what's up, man. Feeling good about it, It's man. not easy to get that up off you, man. So to to hear you say that, bro, that you actually really working, man. And that's 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 dope. Yeah, man. What else is dope is uh, we got a new album coming out Friday the 13th. Yeah, Friday the 13th. Did you do that on purpose? Yeah, kind of. Yeah. <laughs> Mood Swings. Yeah. Now, we got two singles off of it. We got uh, we got Do You Mind. Yeah. Featuring Chris Brown. Absolutely. And then uh, Forever. Yeah. Take me through forever a little bit. You know, we were walking up into the mm. studio. I was like, yo, this is the new wedding song. This yeah. is the one where you're going to propose to your girl. Just say yeah. Absolutely. I mean, th- I think this is for me. When we did forever, because I, I collaborated with a few um, other writers as well. Great, great guys. Amazing writers. But my whole my whole thing with this song is I wanted to write a song specifically for my fiance. Mm. So how it happened is I got in the studio. They played the beat and I just started freestyling. And... You know, it came out, times are crazy. It just it just came out like that. And I just kept freestyling. The melodies kept coming. And, you know, with the guys, we cleaned the lyrics up a little bit. And I listened back to it. And I'm like, yo, like, this is this is like going to be one of those songs, like a John Legend, All of Me. Yeah. And it's going to be around for a long time. Um, So I just really wanted to, you know, just speak to my fiance or any anybody that, you know, has that special person. Like, that song can be a vessel for you to get your emotions out. Um, So forever, literally... Was did what I wanted to do was to make her feel away and make the world feel away. Now, obviously, you said fiance, so I'm assuming she said yeah, 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 yeah. She yeah. Did. yeah, yeah <laughs> she ain't got no drinks. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you uh, been together? Oh man, it's been about twelve years now. Wow. Yeah. So I was playing around, man. I was moving, doing my thing, man. But um, I was running from running from love and running from commitment. So, you know, I just decided one day, like, why not? There's nothing out here. Yeah. You know, just do it. My wife's gonna hear this and be like, "See, I told you." Yeah. Because I I waited I waited eight years. Yeah, man. I waited eight years, ass. So thank God for patience because they could have been gone. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. And when they're when they're a good one, you want to lock them down, right? Absolutely. Yeah, and man. And there's nothing else. Nope, that's it. And now uh, you have a you have a daughter. Yeah, as two well? years old. Two year two years old going on twenty two. Do you ever be in the studio or or writing and and having a track play and and see her kind of mm-hmm. rock everything. She knows, so I play my I play my album around the house. Mm-hmm. You know, it's unreleased, but the the household has heard it. She knows every song from the ad. She's talking now. She's forming sentences as well. Mm-hmm. So she knows the records. So I got to play the clean version yeah. for her because she will say the curse <laughs> words as well. Um, she's she's actually very musically inclined. Now I'm not just saying it's because it's my daughter, but she actually when she sings, she's actually in key. Wow. So I mean, like, yeah, she really she got a talent already at two. You know, but going on three, she'll be three in April. They say the people that you love are your worst enemy. Mm. Your daughter is going to leak your music. Yeah. <laughs> and guess what? Yeah, we're going to have to see about that. Uh, yeah. Release music. <laughs> yeah, watch that. Sin. Yeah. She ain't sin. I'm like, how, who got this? how you send this email? That's why she got her own phone. She ain't got my phone. She's going to send my song out. <laughs> my son, uh, he's nine, and he wants his own iPhone 14. Mm-hmm. I'm like, dog, you can't even tie your shoes, bro. Right. Like, Come on, man. Tie them yeah. right, and then I can get you an iPhone. Absolutely. Yeah, I think for me, man... Um, 
we 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 just you know today is different like you know the the internet the technology is um a way of learning for her as well yeah. so we kind of mixed it too so we got our you know the little children's ipad or whatnot we got a little little phone that she only can watch like learning learning stuff mm. abc one two three colors shapes and all that stuff there so we kind of give it a balance of the technology and the real life learning and which is I me and my fiance i think we do a really good job at being hands-on and just being present because it's one thing to be a parent and be there but to be actually actually present in the life of a child is something different yeah absolutely now when you're creating mood swings right which is available january 13th yeah make sure you stream it go get it um when you're making this project and you do a song like do you mind mm -hmm. Are you going out of the family element? Are you going? Are you locking yourself mm. in the studio and you're like, I'm only worrying about this song? Mm. Or do you like work on a song and then go home, have family time, and then come back? Yeah, I mean, it's it's a little bit of both. Mm. <clears throat> I think for me, it was um, it was more so just creating a song that felt good. I mean, it, it, this happens all the time. Like what a song? Because this song was actually recorded some years ago. Mm. So with uh, some me and me and like two of the, two of the homies. Um, it's just kind of like just to piggyback on Warm Embrace for Chris Brown. I wrote Warm Embrace for Chris Brown. I wrote it over three years ago, mm. and he just now releasing it in 2022. Wow. So it's like a great record just doesn't get old. Like, you know, it doesn't get old until the world hears it. Yeah. So, um, And with that, with Do You Mind, it was like, let me just make something that feel good. And out of the blue, you know, I, I'm persistent, bro. You got to tell me no. So... I mean, I don't, I don't, I'm not ashamed to ask, yo, bro, can you do this verse? Or, bro, can, I, can you this? Bro, can you do that? I'm going to ask. Mm. And I don't know. It just, something just clicked that day. I said, yo, B Breezy, yo, I got this record. I want you to hop on. He said, send it to me. Send it to him. He said, I love it. Only thing I need you to do is beef the beat up. Mm. Beef the beat up, send it back, send the verse back. I'm like, wow. It fits like a glove, man. For you the did your thing. For the free ski. <laughs> Dang, for real? For real, man. Oh, man, that's love. Yeah, it's all love, bro. I uh, I love Chris Brown. The first time I ever seen him perform was yeah. at the Indigo tour when he came here to Salt mm -hmm. Lake. Um, When you are, when you're on tour, when you're going to these different cities, what inspires you on the road, like, to create new music and, mm. and stay fresh? What's crazy, man, is, like, when I'm on the road, like, <clears throat> I'll do something, like, in my hotel, I'll go downstairs to the hotel bar and, like, sit next to somebody and just have a conversation with them, you know, take a couple of shots. What's going on in your life, man? And people, just, you, you'd you be surprised what people talk to you about, not even knowing you. Yeah. Like, people really open up. It's almost like a therapy session. And it's like, I take what people talk about, things that I, that I have going on, people that I meet, of course, and I just, I go back and create stories out of it. Mm -hmm. And it's just, I think that's always, that's always been an uh, inspiration of mine, and is, which is just people, period. So I think, um, and I think a lot of songwriters can can attest to that as well, like just people in life and happiness and the struggle of, you know, finding love, the struggle of finding peace. Like people really go through th things every day. Mm -hmm. um, and it's not just it's not just, you know, everything is always fun and dandy. Like no matter what you see, people going through something um, and just to sit down and talk to a stranger and they just open up, it, whether it be about work, life, relationship, uh, family or whatever, they just open up. Mm -hmm. Um and I think that's what I do on the road to kind of like stay uh, inspired um, and talking to fans and people saying like, yo, you changed my life. I, your music did this for me. And all that is inspiration for me because when I go back in the studio, that's my goal again, to inspire and change somebody else's perspective or way of thinking. When you're telling me that story, man, about the way that you get inspired, first thing that pops into my head is that like, you're not shy to talk. Nah. You're not shy to talk. You're not shy to open up. Nah. So here's the real question. When do we get the podcast? Ooh, when do we get the podcast? It's, it's coming. I think baby steps, baby steps. Right. <laughs> no, what's crazy is we actually, um, we're actually thinking about doing something like that. My fiance and I, we got a lot of couple friends. Um, and we, we think it's, we think it'd be healthy for the culture to, um, to get in there and talk about uncomfortable things. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, for example, um, why is it that the man uh, doesn't have the same rights as the woman in the beginning? Mm. You know, when it takes two to tango. Yeah. I mean, why is it I have to go, you know, get a blood test to prove that I'm the father when I was here the whole step of the way? Um, it's just a lot a lot of different things that I feel like people don't want to talk about. Yeah. Yeah. So and that's one of the that's one that's a big thing. Like men and, and the real struggles of what men and I, and I love my fiance for this because she understands the real struggle of what men go through. Like she like, baby, I get it. She thinks it's absurd that yeah. a man would have to go to go to those lengths to, you know, get 
even have for custody. You know, so it's a weird place, man. It's, yeah, it's, and it's, here it's in the weird. state of Utah, mm-hmm. it's even worse. That's bro. crazy. It's very hard for men to get rights out here yeah. when it comes to children. Yeah, yeah, very Literally, hard. Regardless of what the state is of the mother, as long as she got sane of sound mind or whatnot, regardless, like it's it's up to her. I gotta throw a big shout out to my dad because I grew up with a single father. Yeah, my dad didn't listen to the government. He said, "No, I'm taking my nah, son. I'm taking my son. We out. Come on now." He took me. Yeah. And yeah, I mean, I feel like I'm doing something good with my life. No, absolutely, bro. I mean, you know, people, you know, kind of like water down the importance of a father. Mm-hmm. As, you know, was, it does, has nothing to do with race, where you're from. The importance of a father is the importance of a father. Mm-hmm. And, you know, it's just certain things a father can show a child that a mother can't. Now, going through all these obstacles in life, right? Just living life, mm-hmm. ups, downs, everything. For sure. How does Vito manage his mental health? Mm. Man, this may sound crazy. Um, I just don't let things get to me. Mm. I mean, I mean, it's, it's, it was a, it was it was a time where I did, but I started to learn like my peace and my happiness is way more important than making someone else feel good about themselves. You know what I'm saying? Like if yeah. you if you're trying to put me down and trying to bring me down to your level, like, I'm sorry, I, I'm just not available. I think you know my my peace comes from just listen, bro. Like. I'm good. I'm I'm not gonna be drag, drug into your world. Yeah. You know, I got a daughter at home. I can't go home with that energy on me. I can't go home with that to my to my fiance. Yeah. yeah I can't. It's just cause it's just bad energy. It will throw off everything. It, it throws it throws off the everything, bro. I uh I feel the same way in the in the sense of learning that the problem that people have with you, mm. it's something that they gotta work yeah, out. Yeah, it's the problem with themselves. Yeah. Yeah, it's usually standing man, it's looking at yourself in the mirror, like, okay, what what are you truly mad about? And then when you just sit down, if you sit somebody down and really talk to them and dissect, you see like, okay, all right, so that's what that's what the problem is. It's not me. It's something you're going through, and it's okay. And you know, I've been a punching bag for a lot of people sometimes. That's why I'm like, I feel like I'm like, hey, I'm good. I'm tough skin. It's like, okay, I'm gonna keep pushing. Yep, Let's keep on moving. Yeah. Uh, J- uh, January thirteenth, the Mood Swings album is coming out. Make sure you go get it. Got go Vito get that. here. Hey Vito. Got a lot of people here in Salt Lake City, Utah, from Ogden City to Provo, the tri-state area. Mm. A lot of artists. I tap in with a lot of our local artists. Okay. Um, a lot of them are on the stages of just getting their music out. What advice do you have for young talents? Oh, man. Um, Because you, yeah. you went a lot of different routes, right? Yeah, you, I did. You went television. Yeah. You've done a lot of different I've things. Done, I've done the printing of the mixtapes and passing them out for free at the mall, all that. Um, everything you do needs to be in efforts to like in efforts to like gain gain more attention. Mm-hmm. I mean, I wouldn't say do this do this clout chasing thing. I wouldn't do that. But I would say focus on find something you're really good at. Stop don't if you, if it's rap, do rap. Don't try to sing. Mm-hmm. If it's sing, sing, don't try to rap. I think that focus on the music. Um focus on don't focus on the negativity. Just continue to put music out. I think we get discouraged when you you feel like you work really hard on something, you put it out and it don't get seen. Yeah, it, was, it was like that my first three, four albums, literally. Um, and it's very discouraging. I would say to any any artist coming up, don't get discouraged, bro. Like if this is – if you if you have an urge to succeed, like you have to really have a um, – what are we looking for? A, a, a strong desire to succeed, you will succeed. If you don't have that strong desire, and like no matter what, I'm going to be the, a singer, and that's the, that's what I had. Yeah. I said, bro, I don't want to go to college. I don't want to go to the military. I want to be a singer. I want to be a songwriter. And I think that for that, that's what did it for me, the strong desire to keep going. And I just kept pushing music out to the streets. Don't stop because it's, it's going to be it's gonna be some dry times. Don't so stop. Flood it. Flood it. Flood it. Go do some covers. Rap over somebody. Beat. You know, do whatever you got to do, like, music-wise to go viral, man, and just keep going. And every single time I've ever, you know, been able to go viral i always capitalize off of it so people get comfortable bam you hit the shade room oh what's up you lit all right now you got now you got three thousand new followers what you got for them yeah what you got for them okay you just gonna let them they're gonna follow you wait don't see what you're doing oh he ain't doing nothing unfollow mm. so i think you know stand the now you know study them study the music study the charts see what's popping you know don't try to follow somebody's you know you know their their method but yeah. Recreated. Everything's been recreated. Like you can't. It's nothing under the sun that ain't been done. I had this conversation recently with one of my homies that's been in the, the mm. position of discouragement, 
And he's like, well, it's, it's hard to be innovative. And I'm like, it's not really. It's really not. There's blueprints out there. Just put your flavor on it. Put your flavor on it. I it's mean, like, we don't have that many meats out here that we cook with, yeah. but there's a whole bunch of different dishes, right? A whole bunch of different dishes. It's, it's like, you got this seasonings. chicken, what you going to do? Right. I mean, everything is, can be prepared differently. That, listen, R&B is R&B. Mm-hmm. I don't care who does it. I don't care who does it. Rap is rap. I don't care who does it. But what flavor, what new style or twang or whatever you want to call it can you add to the culture? Yeah. For me, I like to sing about love. I like to sing about, you know, I ain't trying to be in the club popping bottles all the time. I like I like to, you know, to big up a woman. That's my that's my thing. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I mean, it might not be your thing, but that's my thing and it works. Your thing might be in the club popping bottles. It might be, you know, uh, what's the name? Uh, what's what's the guy name? Put that woman first. Um, oh, uh, yeah, I know who you're talking yeah, you know about. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it might, I ain't gonna see it. I ain't might gonna be see, myself. He was an R&B singer that sung about the streets. Yeah, he sung he he sung about the struggle in the streets and things like that. That might be your niche, mm-hmm. but find it and live in it. Don't jump don't jump around because it ain't working right now. Because all you're doing is starting back over. Yeah, and like when you create a lane, like you ain't gonna make a U turn and go back the other way. You are gonna keep going forward. I love it, man. Yeah. January 13th, Mood Swings is out. So we do this thing on Unrestricted. Okay. It's called the yearbook. Okay. Just like when you were in high school, right? You flip it through the pages. When you get to the back, it says person with the most likely to go to the NFL. Right. Person most likely to become a lawyer. Best dress. So on and so forth. Mm-hmm. I want to throw you some, some uh, scenarios. Okay. And you have to fill them in. All right. It could be people that we know, celebrities. It could be people we don't even know. It could be your third uh, okay. grade teacher. <laughs> All right. Anybody. Yeah. Okay. All right. Dead or alive. Most likely to act or most likely to go viral. Six nine. Okay. <laughs> Facts. I mean, he did. <laughs> Trolling. Now I wonder if he can use this one. Class clown. Soldier boy. Mm. He was the first to be a class clown. Yeah. <laughs> most likely to own their own restaurant. Rick Ross. He did it. Yeah. Lemon pepper. <laughs> Best hair. Vito. The waves is on. Come on, baby. 360. Most likely to answer the phone day or night. Mama. Mm. Love it. What's your mom think about everything that's going on in your career? Well, she passed she passed in 2013, but I'm oh. pretty sure she's uh happy. Mm. Pretty sure she's proud of me. Um, pretty, pretty sure she's proud of all her kids. Yeah. But yeah, mom would definitely answer that phone day and night. Okay, what time it is? Biggest hustler. Mm. Jay Z. Yes, I would agree. Yeah. Most like uh, most talented. Ooh. Vito. <laughs> There you go. Yeah. There you go. All right. Most hated. Mm. You recycled one. You could recycle another if you want. Most hated. Mm, that's that's. I'm gonna say Kim Jong Un. I don't know. <laughs> is he, still, he he's dead, isn't he? Nah, I think he's still living. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think he's good. Him and Dennis just kicking it. Yeah, they cooling it over. They tripping. Most likely to own a McDonald's. Mm. Most likely to own a McDonald's. Jim Carrey. Shout out to Jim Carrey, man. So he's underrated. Oh, absolutely. He's one of my favorite actors. Most likely to grab. Uh, most likely to get a celebrity pregnant. Nick Cannon. <laughs> yeah, facts. Absolutely, <laughs> Nick Cannon. <laughs> yeah, Twelve baby man. Hey, man salute to Jesus Nick Cannon, Christ, man. man. Hey, God, Lee King, I see. You. All right, last one. Best dress. Best dress. I don't know, man. I, I, I probably got to get at the Chris Brown. Yeah, Chris, Chris, he didn't be dressing. He has his own style. Yeah, like he just be putting crazy stuff together, but it look good. I don't know if it's because he's tall or what, but I put that. I, it's gonna be ugly. They'll be like, nah, I can't wear this, man. I'm too short for this, man. <laughs> I love Chris Brown, man. man I just nah, want to take a moment to show him some appreciation. Man, yeah, man. much love, much love. Salute to, him, to that man. Okay, next thing we do on this show, it's called P or No P. So. You know, pushing P has mm-hmm. been a thing, right? Back in my day, it was, are you player? Is that mm-hmm. a player move or not? Right. right? So I'll give you scenarios. You okay. have to be like, yo, this is P or not P. Right. 
Having the chance to smoke with Snoop Dogg, but you don't. That's not P. You got to, right? Yeah, you got to smoke. I don't even smoke, and I smoke Snoop. Me either. <laughs> got to. Who else you have to smoke with? Mike Tyson? Mike Tyson, yeah. yeah I, feel like, Tyson? I feel like conversation with Mike Tyson when he high would be crazy. That's coming. Yeah, definitely. All right. Turning music on. <laughs> Turning music on while getting busy. So you set in the mood. Back in my pop's day, it was that's Barry P. White. Yeah, that's P. Yeah. Teddy Pendergrass. Yeah, that's P, definitely. I mean, I don't know. I mean, unless you're going for a quickie or something. I mean, you just get in and out. But if you're trying to, like, really, you know, make some fireworks happen, you got to go and set the mood, man. Yo, your parents getting busy to love TKO is crazy. Man, come on. My dad <laughs> My dad got too too much information. Pop. I'll be like, come on, Pop. <laughs> man, I ain't trying to hear none of that, man. <laughs> All right. Buying cheap wine. But telling your date, yo, this is the most expensive thing out. You're going up to the liquor that's, store? That's not P, but listen here. <laughs> Fake it till you make it, young king. Mm. All right? You take the label off or whatever, pour it in a champagne flute or whatever you got to do, but that's not P. <laughs> that's not. Nah. You might well just get a shot of Don Julio or something. P with the axe trick. Like, if, yeah. you, if you get them if you get them panties, then. You get it. I mean, good. I mean, you, must, you probably got some good conversation <laughs> or something. <laughs> All right, wearing overalls as an adult. Wow. I mean, I, I think it's P. I think that's P. I think it depends on how you wear it, though, man. I think, and that's the thing about style and fashion. You can do whatever you want to do with it. It's true. Yeah. It's true. Shout out to the nappy boys. I sure wore some overalls as an adult. <laughs> <laughs> they Gucci, though. North Face. <laughs> <It's> different. <laughs> All right. So we talked about being in the club, right? Mm -hmm. Popping bottles, everybody popping bottles, having fun. Now, holding the VIP bottle, but you ain't chip in. That's not P at all. Listen, it's, I'd, have to, I'd have had to tell a few guys, hey, man, hey, man, hey, give me the bottle. <laughs> give me the bottle. Get your cup. Here you go. <laughs> now you go stand on the couch. <laughs> you ain't paid for nothing. Yes, that is not P. Now, what if the one holding the bottle that didn't chip in can fight? Hey, I can fight, too. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hey, you want to fight over a bottle you ain't paid for? All right, bet. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. Um, on the first date, showing your talent. It depends on who you are, but I don't think that's P. Nah, that's not P. Mm. It's just, just relax. I think magicians get a pass. Yeah, you said magicians? Yeah. Like, you can <laughs> yeah, make we, a napkin disappear? Yeah, like, you hold that's on That's pretty fly. That. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Magicians? I mean, they probably do get a pass. Cause, but then again, like, magician, though? Nah. <laughs> Nah. <laughs> well, you, Chris Angel out here getting cheeks? Man, I ain't Chris Angel, but sit down somewhere. <laughs> I ain't, where, he, where he been at? Vegas. Yeah, he is in Vegas. Getting that Vegas yeah, check with the Jabberwockies. Yeah, he and is. And Celine Dion. Hey, I did see. I was just in Vegas. I did see that. Yep, yep. He better chill before you end up on that Vegas hey, show. And and he hey, end up <laughs> making nigga disappear. He'll so. make you disappear. <laughs> <laughs> All right, wearing light up sneakers as an adult. Oh, that's not P. That's childish. <laughs> That's very you childish. You want the blinky dudes? Nah, that's childish. I see somebody. I'm going to hey, take, take your shoes off. Here, <laughs> put these on. <laughs> you got to stop the music, right? If you're performing, right? Mm -hmm. Real sexy. And you see some little light-up sneakers walking across the floor. I'm like, ain't this supposed to be a, a, a 21 older show? <laughs> <laughs> Get the kids out of here. Right. All right, last one. Tattooing your spouse on you. Name or face? That's not P. I think it's bad luck, actually. Yeah, it might. Yeah, I think it's bad. Look, I'm a little superstitious. There was that trend where everybody's putting the name on the neck. Nah, that's that's like they got it. That's like the West Side. It's like South Side actions. <laughs> that's not <laughs> happening. Nah, we ain't doing that. No doubt. Well, Vito, you got an album coming out, Mood Swings, January 13th, which is a Friday yes, the 13th. Sir. Um, why should we be excited for this? Well, this is my sixth studio album. Um, Working. Working like you know, and each one of these songs, each one of these albums have some really, really great records on it. I think this album is the most diverse, though. I mm -hmm. think it's the most, um, you know, stripped down. I think it it has a little. A, all my albums are good. I think this is the best one, though. Um, got some really great records on that. But aside from the features, I think um, a lot, a lot of love and just a lot of time went into creating this specific project. Um, and I did it differently this time. I had people who actually came in and helped me because everything <clears throat> everything I've done in the past very self-sufficient I write everything myself which is also which is a good which is a great you know great accolade to have but you know you got to sit back and say hey what one man has ever won a championship mm. so I say hey let's do something different on this project 
Let's bring in some creatives, bring in their ideas, bring in different producers, and let's see what we can do. Um, and it's also a way of for me to, you know, just kind of give back to up and coming writers like myself and like I was once was. Um, so yeah, I think it's special because of that. It's full of love. Of course, I got records on that by my fiance. Mm. Um, records on that that's gonna hit home for some people. Gonna have some people in arguments, but Ooh. yeah, it's one of those. <laughs> it's real. Gonna be some controversy going on. I love it, man. Yeah. Well, check it out Friday the thirteenth, January. Yeah. And uh, if you are in Utah, make sure you go to the show tonight at the Complex, seven p.m. Doors open. Tickets are still available. Complex SLC dot com. And a big shout out and go follow Play Hard underscore events on all social media. They got upcoming events this year that's going to be really live. Hopefully they can bring more artists up here and we can have some fun. Yeah, yeah. Vito, I appreciate you. My brother, I appreciate you, man. Peace.